Did you hear the sad news? According to the internet, the U.S. dollar is dying. But is that actually true? Let's talk about it. The internet went into full-blown panic mode earlier this week after Twitter founder Jack Dorsey asked the question, when did the dollar lose global reserve currency status? This is sort of a strange question to ask, though, because there's empirical data that refutes this. For instance, according to the International Monetary Fund, 59% of all foreign central bank reserves are held in the form of U.S. dollars. Importantly, the dollar isn't just the dominant reserve currency. It's the dominant reserve currency by a really wide margin. For instance, the euro holds just 21% of global reserve market share. The Chinese renminbi is just 2.8%. The pound sterling is just 4.8%. And the yen is just 5.6%. Now, some people will argue that all of this is just due to the so-called petrodollar or the Bretton Woods Agreement. And while there's certain shreds of truth to that, the reality is much simpler. The fact of the matter is the U.S. economy is simply gigantic when compared to any other economy. For instance, total imports into the United States as of 2020 were almost $3 trillion. China's second on the list at just $2.3 trillion. And even Germany's humongous economy is just $1.5 trillion. This huge amount of foreign trade means that while U.S. consumers are getting things, the foreigners are getting U.S. dollars in exchange. In other words, if you want to do business with the world's biggest consumer, you have to do it in dollars. Of course, empires come and go. And the history of reserve currencies since 1450 shows that nobody maintains global reserve currency status forever. And you can even argue that the relative importance of the dollar in the global economy has started to decline. Over the course of the last 20 years, for instance, the dollar's share of foreign exchange reserves has fallen from over 70% to under 60%. So it's fair to argue that the dollar is slowly losing its relative reserve currency status. But that's likely to be a long, drawn-out process. And for now, it's clear that the dollar is still king dollar. Hey you, was that the best three minutes you've ever experienced?